Now, this next thing is about names. That's all names. Names are an interest of mine, not a hobby. Hobbies cost money. Interests are free. This is just about names. Did you ever notice how they name singles bars? Singles bars all have the same kind of cutesy little one-word names that end in S. Scamps, tramps, chats, rumors, cahoots, cheers, chances, mingles, risks, gambits, notions. Hey, if I had a singles bar, you know what I'd call it? Nipples and dicks. <laughs> huh? A little truth in advertising. The Sperm Club. Snatch-o-rama. The, the Crotcheteria. Frankie's Fuckery. Cafe Vagina. Open all night. Well, I'm an old-fashioned guy. I'm old-fashioned because I believe the name on the outside of a place ought to let you know what's going on on the inside. Here would be a good name for a gay restaurant. The Mouthful. Huh? Come on, that's clever shit. That's a double pun, goddammit. You didn't think of it. Besides, you don't have to eat there if you don't want to. No, no, just go in, have a cocktail. <sighs> or a highball. Here's another name I don't care for, TGI Fridays. You know these cutesy-ass little places, TGI Fridays. <laughs> that whole TGIF thing was cute for about an hour. About an hour, and that was 65 years ago when someone first said it on the radio. Not cute anymore, time to start bombing these locations. TGI Fridays. If I had a place like that, you know what I'd call it? H-S-I-O-W. Holy shit, it's only Wednesday. I think people would drink a lot more liquor if they thought it was Wednesday all the time. Well, I'm just looking for a little honesty in these names. A little honesty, that's not asking a lot. I'm thinking of opening up a motel and calling it the Sleep and Fuck. Wouldn't that be a good honest name for a motel? Who needs this Shady Pines bullshit? The Sleep and Fuck Motel. Get me one of them big neon signs. Sleep, fuck. <laughs> Sleep, fuck. Sleep and fuck. Sleep and fuck. Sleep and fuck. Sleep, fuck. Sleep, fuck. Sleep, fuck. Sleep and fuck. Sleep and fuck. You put it right at the Jersey entrance to the Holland Tunnel, you know? <laughs> well, actually, fucking sleep would be a little more accurate, wouldn't it? Best name for a motel would be the fucking smoke and sleep and roll over and get out of bed and wash your crotch and go out and buy two cans of Mr. Pibb and go home and fuck a whole lot more. A whole lot more. Because that's all they ever have left in those soda machines on Sunday night. Mr. Pibb and Diet Shasta Orange. And that yellow can of Canada Dry tonic water that nobody wants! And speaking of naming things, Am I the only person in this country who's laughing when these commercials come on television for snapper lawnmowers? <laughs> Isn't there anyone else in this fading republic who knows what a snapper is? A snapper is a pussy, okay? That's what it means. Snapper means pussy. It's derived from an older, more specific term, snappin' pussy which describes a particular type of pussy, one with good, quick muscular control, kind of an elasticity in the vaginal wall that can grab a hold of you and give you a decent hump. You know what I'm talking about. A snapping pussy. But now, now snapper means any kind of pussy, and they've named a lawnmower company after it. Now, I have seen a few snappers in my day, never seen one that'll cut grass. <laughs> no, no. Maybe do a little edging. <laughs> little edging along the driveway after a party. That's all you can hope for. But you know, weed whacker, you can understand. Now, a lot of these company names and product names are influenced by marketing and advertising people. This next thing is about advertising. And by the way, if you should have any cognitive dissonance about the fact that I do commercials for 10, 10, 220 and still attack advertising up here, well, you're just gonna have to figure that shit out on your own, okay? 